okay welcome back guys we are successfully able to install our starter kit and now we are logged in as a, we are logged in as a user right and we are visiting this dashboard but we don't need this dashboard we want to integrate our own dashboard uh, which we have uh, downloaded it from star bootstrap and this one is a index file i want to add this index file here in this dashboard right so how i can do this so for this i need this uh, html stuff this css and so on things right so very first thing is i'm going to open this into the uh, any of the text editor or you can also open this into the notepad right i have this my sublime text editor so i'm uh, basically dragging my file here so my all of the files content uh, appeared here right just copy everything and go to your laravel application so here this one is a uh, my laravel application i want to go to my resources views and then there is a layout section so here i want to uh, create a layout for admin right you can uh, create this for the auth right or you can create this for the admin something like this admin.php just paste everything we will set up these things uh, with a step by step guide okay i have set up this out just give it a save and i want to open this blade right so just go here and uh, in the dashboard uh, currently we are opening this so uh, dashboard right so i want to now open in the layouts we have a admin file right so just go back here and uh, get refresh so you can see this all of our html content right it's appeared but its designing is uh, not working so how we can fix that out just go to your files this admin file and here you need to set up your things right i want to say here admin dashboard this one is our title and now we need to link these things like we need vendor stuff we need css stuff right so if you go to this uh, stuff you can see this there is a vendor folder css js images and so on things right we need everything here so just copy them and go to your application where you have placed this so i have this dashboard app click on that uh, go to your public and by the way you can set up these assets using the wheat asset bundler and uh, compile your files or you can directly uh, add them into the public directory and um, set their path through this public one it's up to you how you want to set up this out if you will compress uh, if you will minify those if you want to minify those files so you can use uh, wheat asset bundler to compress this file and i have a course on that how you can uh, basically add your files into the wheat and then minify those files so at that time i'm going to do this using this public directory so i'm going to create here a assets directory i'm not going to place everything into this directory i have created the assets directory and here when you are creating your assets right you need to manage everything you don't know that uh, what's going in the future with your application how many functionality uh, you will add this into the future so everything you need to set up it properly uh, maybe if you want to change your theme in future so how you can easily uh, remove that existing theme and then install the new theme into the proper place so for that purposes uh, currently we are installing this for our admin our admin role so i'm going to here create a admin directory and in the admin directory i'm going to paste these all of the assets so now in future when i'll need to replace my theme i'll just delete everything from this admin dashboard uh, admin directory and then place the new theme assets here so in future if i need the user dashboard so i'll just create a user directory 
if i'll need the assets regarding our site website so i'll create a site or website directory and then place my assets here right so currently i have placed them into the admin okay now go here and in the vendor we are choosing here we are referencing the vendor so before this we need to if we want to call everything from this public directory we need to call the asset helper it will look into this public directory and after that asset we need to go inside this assets directory right this asset is a helper and this assets is a directory so we are our control is now inside the public so i'm going to first write the uh, assets path then i need to mention this admin right and admin and after that we need to type vendor and so on right so i have entered this vendor this one vendor and then font awesome and then css and then we are mentioning this uh, all all dot min dot css this second file so in this way you can set up your overall path right so i have did this and now i'm going to do this uh, for this css too so just cut it from here and then add the asset assets and then admin and after that admin we need to add this into the css directory right so there is a css directory and then it's contained the sp admin too just give it a save go back here and give it a refresh if our styling is appeared or not and yes our styling is appeared properly right so now we have one more issue our images are not working even our js is also not working right so first work on this uh, images right so i don't want to do work on all of the images which are inside notifications messages i want to just fix few images right i want to fix this image and this uh, board image so i have clicked on right click on it inspect and here i'll set this class and uh, find it here okay and yes you can see this this one is a uh, uh, image slash our profile dot svg so i'll set it path same as i did this for my file so just name this uh, assets slash admin then slash there is a image directory and then this image contain this uh, draw dot profile just give it a save get refresh and yes you can see this now this profile is appeared and we need we need this to fix right so just click on that i have copied that just copy this out find it and yes you can see this we have this so uh, the rocket so i'm going to mention its path using this so uh, assets slash admin and then uh, image and so on let's get refresh click on uh, remove this out and yes you can see this now this one is appeared and even we don't need this upgrade thing so if you want to remove anything you don't need this we can remove this simply like this and yes it's now working right our graphs are not working so we'll also work on that uh, but at that time our js is not working if i'm click on uh, clicking on that it's not toggling this uh, nav bar even i'm able to open my uh, these notifications and messages so what i need to do is i need to set up my js stuff so just go to the bottom here you can see this there is a vendor directory and you can mention this by uh, mark them all by clicking on this uh, control plus d i have entered this control plus d now do it one more time three time and uh, here you need to type here asset and then asset here till admin you need to mention everything here something like this also mention it's a vendor path let me do this properly okay enter the path 
copied it one more time i'm not skipping this out i'm doing this in the live environment it will give you the proper knowledge that how i'm doing that and if you're getting any issue you can do this easily so just mark them now js but make sure that this js shouldn't be marked this year right so for this we need to mention this two js here i want to say here assets and then we need to mention this same thing i'm going to copy this stuff paste it here cut this out paste it cut this out paste it cut this out and paste it here give it a save refresh and yes you can see this now our graphs are also appeared and if i click on any of the notification clicked and yes our notifications are successfully opening these images are not working because we haven't set up them out if i click on this and yes i'm easily able to toggle in and toggle out right everything is perfectly working what we are looking for and uh, our index page is properly working right but this uh, we have set up this for only the dashboard right if i'll user visit the login so he will uh, not able to visit this login and redirect it on the dashboard and yes it's redirected but what if a user want to uh, create another page like a user want to create its profile page so how user will create the other pages right so we'll learn that how we can create this as a master template and reuse this into our child components right so i'll explain this in the next video that uh, how you can implement that kind of functionality so i'll see you guys in the next one and if you like the video don't forget to hit like subscribe and uh, comment uh, write out a feedback about this uh, series thank you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye